Thanks for visiting AccumaticaReports.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at Excel Online, how we can refresh it with live data from Acumatica, and how we can embed it within the Acumatica application. Let's take a look. Excel file that we finished off with last time. And before we upload it to Office 365, I just want to do a couple of things. We already turned off on the view menu here. We already turned off the grid lines last time. Now I also want to turn off the headings. So right now we have the A, B, C, D across the top and the 1, 2, 3, 4 down the side. I just want to uncheck that and we'll see why a little bit later. Then we also want to go to data connections and we want to look at the properties on our data connection. Go to the definition tab and you want to have this save password box checked. The Excel file needs the password stored in it so it knows how to refresh itself. Once you do those two things, we can save this, close it, and now we'll go over to office.com. Now I already signed up for a free trial of Office 365, so I can just sign in here. And once I sign in, I want to go to OneDrive. OneDrive is where you store your files in Office 365. I'm going to delete the one that I already have up here. And then I'll drag the new one in. You'll see that's uploading, and once it uploads, since I'm in my web browser and I'm in Office 365, this is just a hyperlink. So I don't need Excel installed. I just click this, and you'll see it opens it now in Excel Online, which is the web version of Excel. But it looks and feels just like regular Excel. And I can do things like filter. Might take a little bit longer. Should work here. Give it a second. There we go. Looks like once I get past the first filter, it's okay. Now, the cool thing is, not only can I filter, I can actually refresh the data. So, right now we see we have 100, and we only have one customer ID starting with numbers. But I can come over here to data, refresh all connections. Gives me a little warning. I'll click yes and now it's going out and it's actually refreshing the data from my Acumatica OData connection. Again, without having to open my desktop version of Excel, I'm doing this all in my web browser, which is pretty nice. And there you go, now it just added the customer that I had added on tryacumatica.com and our customer count went up to 101. Now one other thing I'd like to do is I'd like to go here and take this secret code here. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go up to the URL on the top of my browser, get rid of this part at the end, and replace it with that, that new secret code, which is this right here. Now, right now, you'll notice that uh, I've, I've got some stuff up on my header. This is Excel Online. It gives me some menu options. But by putting in this special code at the end and hitting Enter, it's going to refresh the web page and get rid of all that header stuff on the top. Now it just looks like a nice clean web page. And one last thing we can do, I promise this will be the last thing, is I'll go to tryacumatica.com, log in, and I can actually add this to the menu. So you can go to System, Customization, Sitemap, and maybe I'll just put this in the accounts receivable area and let's see let's just uh, make up a screen ID for this and we'll call this Excel online file then I could just paste the URL from my Excel online URL there save it and now I can browse to that folder and I'll actually get a link to the Excel online file. The nice thing is 
over here, it opens it in a completely separate area. But once I add it to the Acumatica menu, let's see. Let's just give it a second to refresh there. Okay. So now we go back over here to explore. There's my Excel online file. And the nice thing is it's going to display it within the Acumatica system. So I still have my menus over here. But now because we cleaned it up, we got rid of the grid lines and we got rid of the A, B, C, D and the 1, 2, 3, 4. We got rid of the, the headings. I've got a nice clean looking file. And we can't really even tell that it's Excel. But we can still interact with it here. Still use my slicers but it looks and feels like I'm inside Acumatica, which I think is pretty nice.